Despite everything, deep down, does your child love you? Hey, I'm Ryan Thomas, a child of parental alienation who reunited with my dad, and that's what we're talking about in this video. And I was sent a question from Suzanne, and she asks, despite all the lies, all the manipulation, deep down, does my child still love me? And the answer to that is yes. The problem is they can't admit it to anyone. They can't even admit it to themselves. I know for me, there was no way that I could bring myself and allow myself to truly acknowledge how I felt about my dad when, when we were having such difficulties. Because to do that would be to go in the face of all of this hard work that had been done by the controlling parent. It is their life's mission to turn the child against the alienated parent. And so when you're bombarded with all of that stuff, to even think about acknowledging or admitting that you love that parent or that you like that parent or that you in any way have kind thoughts, even this much could mean the ruin of life as you know it. And I think that that might sound you know, uh, dramatic to people, but let me tell you, when you're under the influence of alienation, when you're a kid and you don't know, hey, this is what's happening to me and boy, isn't this awful, you just think this is life. And you know that in order to survive and to have a happy, productive, somewhat peaceful life, you have to, you have to go, you have to toe the line. You have to do and say the things that you know are not going to make waves or cause you trouble. So I would have lots of great times with my dad. And unfortunately, it wasn't something that I would come back from visitation and say, what an amazing time I had. Dad was so great, we had so much fun, we laughed and we did all of these things. Because I know that's gonna bring a wave of negativity, of, oh, he's a weekend dad, he's uh, just being a fun time parent, that's not really what a parent is, or, oh, you love him so much, why don't you go spend all your time? So I would just zip my lip. Well, when you do that enough, you start to sort of suppress those feelings and you certainly don't go around telling people about them. So you learn at a very young age to keep those good times to yourself. The challenge with that is that I would have great times, but it's like anything else. If you don't get to come and sort of relish in them or, um, or talk to people about those experiences or just spend, have some time to actually think about it, it's just boom, it's gone. It, it's like into the wind. And you know, one of the most favorite things that my dad and I used to do was uh, in the summertime, my dad would take the lawnmower and go in the backyard and put it down to the lowest setting and he would mow out a, a little strip, a little round area. He would uh, dig out a hole, put a coffee can in it and declare, you know, we have ourselves a putting green right in the backyard. And I just thought that this was the, the coolest thing that we had a putting green. So we'd take our putters out onto this, you know, lawn that my dad had, had sort of mocked up and we'd knock the ball around and we just had such a great time. And I knew in those those moments that I loved him and that he loved me and I knew that there was a bond I felt that bond with him but when in, in my situation where you only have one or two days uh, or one or two days every other week or maybe at, at most four days out of an entire month those times are so few and far between that they do become fleeting. If you don't, again, have that opportunity to reinforce the love, the love that you feel from a parent to a child, uh, from a child to a parent, or from a parent to a child and be able to receive that, it is very easy for the controlling, dominating parent and the regime to bombard you with negativity so that it really it makes that opportunity go less and less and less and less. And then when the line is really drawn in the sand when it comes to parental alienation, and you know, you now really believe that the parent is no good or is not right, those, those, still, those thoughts and that feeling is still in the back of your head, but it becomes so powerful. And that 
embracing that love, embracing those, those desires to be with the parent actually become painful because to accept that and to embrace that would mean to go against all of the other powers that be that are in the child's life. And so unfortunately we suppress that down. But I know that even in the worst times that I felt about my dad or that I felt our relationship was in, I loved him. I believed that he loved me. I knew that I wanted to share things in my life with him. I knew that I wanted to show him and talk to him about milestones that were going on. But I couldn't really bring myself to admit it. I didn't spend any time talking to other people about it. Jeez, wish dad was around for this. They're just It just didn't happen. Um, and so I want you to know that I truly believe that deep down, yes, your child loves you and they actually want to have a relationship with you. They want to be loved by you and they want to love you. But in the dynamics and the situation that they're in, it's actually, I don't want to say it's impossible, but it feels impossible to them at this moment. So hang on to, to that belief that they do love you and that they know that you love them as well. And just know that they are under a very powerful regime and they believe that that regime is the only, is the only life that they can have or the only life that they know. And it is going to take time and effort and strategies and life events to change that life perspective. And it is possible. Again, I am living proof that it is possible to break out from the parental alienation from the regime, from that mindset and find my way back to my dad or a parent. Uh, so it is possible. So don't give up hope. I hope that helps Susan uh, and other parents as well. And if you want to make sure that you receive other videos delivered into your inbox, just like this, where I'm going to be answering questions uh, that parents have about parental alienation and ask, answering them from my perspective as a child, go ahead, click the subscribe button so that I can make sure that I can get these videos to you in my effort to help you. So again, I'm Ryan Thomas. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next video.